the party came to power with big promises and claimed to work for progress of all but what slowly unfolded was a policy of hate against the two main minorities in the country muslims and christians pressures on christians ceased within the next two years apparently due to foreign pressure but continued against muslims it took many forms and shapes like lynchings in the name of beef and cow slaughter or smuggling so called love jihad and the so called plan to convert hindus to islam so called muslim conspiracy to raise their numbers in india etc etc a section of media was reined in to start periodic campaigns against muslims using any stray or fake incident like claiming that muslims were on purpose spreading corona in the country ruling party leaders mps and even ministers went around making inflammatory and irresponsible speeches they were never even reprimanded for their incendiary sentiments statements using this hate 24 7 the ruling party has kept hindus busy and distracted from its colossal failures on every front so much so that despite these failures it again won the general elections in 2019 This time is started implementing its long-term plans like depriving millions of Muslims of their Indian nationality in the name of implementing NRC CAA leading to months long huge Muslim protests all over the country which could be curbed only using the covid pandemic restrictions Next came the unilateral abolition of the Article 370 of the Indian Constitution and converting the huge Jammu and Kashmir state into a union territory and snatching away Ladakh from it. India's great institutions are being weakened, diluted and made subservient to the ruling Hindutva ideology, lynchings, open anti-muslim propaganda and calls for murder of muslims have become common indian government is not moved by widespread national and international condemnation of these policies so much so that when the visiting american secretary of state raised the issue of human rights in india his indian counterpart shot back that we are correcting historical wrongs a huge surveillance system has been installed keeping an eye on what citizens say and think thousands of people have been arrested on sedition conversion beef and fake terror charges recently the pegasus scandal has exposed the huge surveillance network this company uh, this government has built to tame india's once li- vibrant civil society this surveillance system and spying in various ways focuses not on criminals and terrorists but on secular critics and people who perceived as political enemies by the rulers of the day human and civil rights in india are in danger today and all out effort is needed to redeem the dreams of the founders of independent india which is now being ruined by a retrograde fascist ideology i have not lost hope but i know and realize that a very long struggle lies ahead thank you very much